Welcome to another Visual X Masterclass. Today I want us to look at one of the biggest sections in your metric uh, examination, which is calculus. Defining what calculus is will make things easier. So it is important that you must understand what is, what is it that you are do, doing. Calculus is nothing else but the study of change and area. I want us to focus on the study of change. What is change? Where have you seen the word change in your mathematical life? Ah, we've seen it when you talk of the change in Y over change in X. Study of change, difference, difference, difference. We make look of the change. Hence, we'll, we'll be talking about differentiation in this, in, this, in this topic. So it is nothing else but the study of change. Others will say it's the study of gradient. Because when you talk of change, it's the gradient, which is the change in y over change in x. So what is actually happening in this topic? We're doing nothing else but studying the gradient. Uh, but we've been deal dealing with gradients all along in our mathematical lives, especially when we talk of, uh, if you are given two points, we'll find that your m is equals to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Look at this one. What do we have on the numerator? It is y, the denominator is x, we call that gradient. In the numerator, you've got y, in the denominator, you've got x, we call that gradient. When it comes to to trigonometry, for example, when we talk of tan theta, tan theta, if you've got this diagram and you've got your theta here, these are the y-axis, these are the x-axis, and this is r. What is tan theta? If you remember your Sokatoa, a definition of tan, tan is opposite over adjacent. That is Tawa, opposite over adjacent. So when you talk of tan theta, it is opposite over adjacent, which is y over x. Now watch here. What do we have on the numerator? You've got y. What do we have on the denominator? You've got x, y, x. Y, x is the gradient. So that is why you'll have a formula that says tan theta is equal to m, because when you define what tan is, it becomes y over x. So that's, you'll see the gradient also in trigonometry. Uh, when it comes to calculus, you'll be talking about dy, dx. What do you have on top? You've got y, you've got x. Therefore, this is gradient. So when you differentiate, you'll actually be looking for the gradient. Of course, whether it or average gradient. Now, we'll, differ, we'll, we'll, we'll divide our calculus topic into four little sections. First principles that we'll be doing today. We'll also go over rules cubic graphs, as well as the application of calculus. So this is what we'll be doing. Remember that when you differentiate, whether by rules or by first principles, you are actually looking for the gradient. Now, I want us to go over and see how they set this in the examination. This is taken in November 2008. Determine f of x prime. When we say f of x prime, we mean find the derivative or find the average gradient. That's what we're looking for. Uh, Determine f of x prime from the first principles if f of x is equals to minus 3x squared. There's a formula that we use for the first principle. It says f of x prime is equals to the limit as h approaches 0 of f of x plus h uh, minus f of x all over h. This is the formula that we'll be using to calculate the gradient from the first principles. This formula are given in the formula sheet. So make sure that you copy it correctly from your formula sheet because it has marks. Copying it correct, you get your one mark. Let's do this thing. Now watch here, the difference between, this was x, now it's x plus h. After that, you subtract the f of x. This is our f of x. But the first thing that we need to do is to, where there was x, now there's x plus h. Let's do this thing. Uh, so f of x prime is equals to the limit as h approaches 0 of, let's write it. The first thing you write uh, minus 3 into, where there is x, now we push in x plus h. 
so it is x plus h this is squared right then you subtract f of x what is f of x it is f of x it is minus 3x squared so it's minus into f of x this is my f of x which is minus 3x squared this is all over h so that, that, that is the very most important step if you can substitute where there is x first you push in x plus h once you have done with x plus h you minus f of x which is this is what f of x is right then it becomes simple algebra where you square your binomial your grade 8 grade 9 comes in hand here f of x prime will be equals to the limit as h tends to zero of let's work this thing out you must be able to tell the solution before you even do it for this one the solution must be equals to minus 6x this is what we must get when we do rules we'll explain how do we find the solution before you do it but at the moment i want us to concentrate on the first principles let's do this thing what is x times x it is x squared times minus 3 it is minus uh, 3 x squared all right that's what we have uh, x times h x h double that 2 x h times that it will be minus 6 x h that's what we have let's move on h times h it's h squared times minus 3 it's minus 3 h squared let's move on to the other bracket so it's negative times negative we'll get plus 3x squared this is all over h so you create 8 create 9 becomes handy in here where you be where you are able to square a binomial right let's move on f of x prime thus is is equals to the limit as h approaches 0 let's see what we have here uh, 3x squared minus 3x squared that is gone we're left with two terms. I want to get rid of the of the denominator. I hate working with fractions. So how do I get rid of a fraction? I've got to have h on top. Fortunately, we do have h this side and we do have h that other side. Let me take it out as a common factor. Let's take our h out as a common factor. Uh, if I take h, I'll be left with what? If I take h here, I'll be left with minus 6x right if i take h here i'll be left with minus 3h right this is all over h why did i take h out here i was trying to make sure that i've got another denominator which is exactly the same so that h the fraction will gone this will be gone so this is what we have now but we know that h tends to zero it means where there's h i can push in zero then we'll have 6x minus 6x minus 3 others they skip this step it's fine where there was h h tends to zero so where there was h i push in zero there therefore f of x prime will be equals to minus 3 and 0 this is gone i'd be left with only minus 6x this is how we go about doing this problem so it is true that if you differentiate or minus 3x squared the solution will be minus 6x it will be the same solution whether I use the first prince whether I use the first principles or I use the rules you'll be doing the same thing but doing using different methods at the moment we just I just want us to master the first principles then after that we'll go to, to the rules thank you